Question number 14 is about growth and decay function, exponential growth and decay functions. You can see over here they have given you different equations. And you have to basically tell which represents exponential growth and exponential decay. So looking at the question, how would you tell it? It's very simple. Now I'll just write a standard form first. Y equals A, B, X. The thing is if B, this value B, which has the exponent X, if it is greater than 1, it's growth. But if B is less than 1 but greater than 0, it must be within this range. It can't be less than 0. Then it is a decay function. That's it. Now, here you can see 7 greater than 1. 5 by 4 is 1.25 greater than 1. These are growth functions. 2 by 3rds is 0 0.666. It's a decay function because it's less than 1. But it is greater than 0. It must be greater than 0. Okay whatever is the base over here and 0 0.999 it's again a decay function because it's less than 1 even 0 0.1 less it's still less so this is the thing but now I just want to ask uh, you know make you think over here what if y equals we have say f of x equals 4 times 0 0.5 x what is this do you multiply 4 into 0 0.5 and write 2 to the power x this is wrong look what is exponential only this part what is having the power x it is 0 0.5 so this is a decay so just focus on where the power x is there that's the main thing now you will see over here growth decay now i'm sorry i just realized one thing i have swapped the answers this is supposed to be the answer for this this is decay two thirds and this is growth five by four is one point um, 1.25 so it's 25 percent growth now then we will just look at these ones again it's very very easy this is again a decay function this is a growth function just by looking at it you can say that's it that's the very short and simple topic that's question number 14